morning virgo this is going to be your beginning of july um love reading okay uh, so we're going to start off with your recent past okay sorry about this i was doing projects <laughs> uh your present energies and right your near future okay we're going to get some clarifiers out here as well as some oracles and we're going to finish off with some messages from your person okay Virgo. Virgo, what do we have for Virgo? Water twos, a lot of twos. So you recently had a tower moment. Ooh, there's a love offer coming in. Passionate. Passion, passion, passion. There's a lot of twos and threes here. Okay, something beginning. So I do believe you could be dealing with a, a Leo. You have strong Leo in your chart. This is going to be the bottom. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Masculine energy, that willpower that you have. Okay, for creativity. All right. <laughs> Okay. All right, Virgo. I'm surprised you didn't show up in your own reading. Um, so I do see here in your recent past, there was... You shared a lot with this person. You shared a lot with your person. You really, you really thrived with them. You really had a lot of kind of like this partnership was good it was actually great you guys were actually you know pouring into one another's cup then a tower happened <laughs> something happened with y'all okay but i do see here that they're coming back around or somebody's coming back around to offer you know a new cup of love okay so, you know you could be with this person and it just like faded out like whatever you guys had you know and you guys had just had time you needed time to think or whatever but I do see here that there's going to be a romantic gesture coming towards you or you're going to make that romantic gesture. Celebration, okay? It also could mean third party. And I mean, when I say third party, it, it signifies like to me where, um, how can I say this? Where it could be another energy, another investment you're making. It's not always another person, okay? It could be like friends, family, work, hobby, you know, job. It could be stuck in your own head, you know, and you're putting your energy in that. So that's what it represents to me, okay, in my readings, at least. So let's clarify this tower. And then right here, I also see that you do want, you know, like a, a creative partnership with someone, okay, right now, all right? So I do feel like your person's not in, in, in your, like, around you physically anymore but i do feel like they do or they are in your energy whoever you're thinking about i mean why else would you be here right you're not going to be asking about some like rando person look at that so there could have been kind of like some dishonesty oh wait wait, 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 wait. that that doesn't want to be clarified that tower that's weird okay resting rest so the tower is clarified ooh by holding on somebody could have been holding on to either like their emotions they could have been holding on to um they could have been just greedy towards whatever they were you know your story more than anybody else right so i do see here there was like choices you were kind of like you know there's that fog that was coming in you didn't know okay and you found out something about both of you guys okay there's like this disillusion that came in but because you stood either you stood your ground and this tower happened because they weren't telling you the truth you let that tower come in or because they were being really greedy you know take it however it resonates here wow okay so here it's kind of it's like um where this romance this romantic offer you know they're gonna be coming charging in right not really fast but they're gonna be like trotting in and i do see here um virgo where there's gonna be a lot of hold on oh my god 
Why did I lose? There you go. Yeah, this is going to be like the fruits of your labor, okay? So it's kind of like you're receiving good karma, right? We are still at like the end of Mercury retrograde still. So <laughs> you can tell like whatever this was, this energy, okay? You could tell that there was right now that there's like lies and mistrust, right? Lies and mistrust and there's kind of like that dishonesty, okay? You can tell now because of this this you know creative partnership it's kind of like you're bored okay it's kind of like you're like oh you know woe is me i don't know what to do you know it's kind of like it's you're giving me that energy okay this could be your person as well um here for your new future your near future the five of pentacles is clarified <laughs> is clarified by the five of pentacles so there's lack of something okay you're lacking something in your near future you want to find what that you want to find out what that is okay Virgo you want to get out of that real quick so the ace of swords is clarified by the three of cups so you're going to find clarity for this third party situation now I get it okay something an energy was invested elsewhere okay your person was invested elsewhere or you're invested elsewhere but there's going to be clarity in that you're going to have the strength to get out of this, to get out of your head, to get out of, you know, having stress and anxiety, right? You're going to get out of that. I do see that. So let's get some romance oracles. I know I saw two. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, Virgo, keep your eyes open, okay? Open your eyes. You There is the moon there. You could have found out in the beginning of the month, last month. You could have found something out. This could have happened. This is like very recent. Or it could be like a while back ago. But now you're you're starting to notice the signs. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, so because you want something new. Because you're looking for something new. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So you could still be wanting to come back to this person. You know, take however it resonates. You don't have to. We all have free will. Or you're working on a different relationship. You know, it doesn't have to be romantic. Could be you're focusing on, on your, your coin right now. Right, Virgo? <laughs> Who isn't, you know? We are in some weird times right now. Weird as times. Thank you. Ooh, the tribe, community, belonging, okay? So this is like-minded connections. So you're starting to notice what is falling in your favor. Eight could mean of great significance to you in your life right now, okay? Round and round. So yeah, you were kind of like stuck in your head, that fog, that fog, right? That's that disillusion that was kind of like holding you back. Put some witches oracles out here. So this is kind of a, a clarifier for like a timestamp, season, time of the year, you know, or like some guidance, whatever comes out, okay? So the, the, I love my witches oracles. I should get like the original ones. This is kind of just like, you know, the plain, the deck one. Sorry about that. My camera's like overly focused now, you guys. Before it didn't focus properly, now it's like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it focuses too much. Oh, thank you. So, Wiccan Raid. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Ethios? I don't know what this means, but I'm going to read it. Um, By the Wiccan law, ye must. In perfect love, in perfect trust. Eight words the Wiccan Raid fulfill. And ye harm no one, do as ye will. And never mind the rule of three. And ever mind the rule of three. Okay. <laughs> While ye send out comes back. Okay, so this is about karma. Follow this with mind. So whatever you've been pushing out will come back to you times three. So, you know, you, you've been putting out good karma, right? And, you know, it's coming back to you. Spirit is letting me know, like, you know, good karma. You've been, you've, I feel like you've been, like, down in the dumps. I feel like a lot of anxiety right now, so I could be in your energy, like, heavy. You do have a lot of anxiety. Oh, Virgo, I'm so sorry. Spell, 
Okay, so manifestations. Your manifestations, you're, you're staying true to your manifestations. Your intentions are true. This is why it's coming back. You know, you want to stay in that vibration. So cottage security, right? You are, you know, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy because you're starting to notice, you know, that it could be others could have been stealing your energy, right? Let's get some wisdom oracles after. Oof. Wow. So I'm going to take those. Usually I only take one or two. <laughs> but I feel like I need to take these for you right now. Holy crap. Virgo. Okay, so. Okay. So this is earth school. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Yeah, you're learning what doesn't serve you anymore. You got to leave that crap behind, right? You're starting to, you know... <laughs> Or you, you could, because this is earth school, you could also be, um, you could also be doing, like, online courses now, right? We can't really be, we can't really be around people right now, you know, social distancing is still being practiced. Ooh, perspective, none of this matters, zoom out, common ground. So you're noticing, like, this, like, bad crap that's hanging around, it's not worth it. Life is too short. You're noticing life is too short, too, and you're like, you know what, no. Loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let the good in, let, let God in. So <laughs> you're letting go. I feel like that you're letting go of like what doesn't serve you anymore and here you're just like you see how that the dresses are like different colors like i feel like this was like your low vibration energy that you were around people you didn't know how to you know let go of that so you adopted and then that's his pink like vibrant you know kind of like a little cotton candy like your vibrations are so different than what they were a couple of months ago a couple of years ago even cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life that tower could have caused you to crack open okay you cracked open and this is a good thing because you're letting spirit in you're letting you know you're seeing the bigger picture karmic relationships orion energy polarity soul growth and conflict so yeah i do feel like there was a lot of people in your life that caused you a lot of conflict that kind of like deprived you of who you were who you are and you stood up for yourself you're like you know what <laughs> how much lower can i get you know what's after being at your lowest of low what is there to do start going up so this is you okay the great serving mars energy anger so this is like masculine energy i feel like okay mars energy and venus is like feminine energy anger conflict softening to love so you held a lot of anger you held a lot of conflict because of these energies around you you tried to be vibrant you tried right in the past and it just wasn't working you didn't know why you're always so stressed out why you're always anxious why you're always so pissed off this is why people took your energy and you know what no more no more all right virgo we're gonna get some messages from your person i don't even i don't even think you want to hear this so. <laughs> I don't, even, you, I don't even think you care. <laughs> can relate. Yes, I can. I can most definitely relate. Let's get the messages from here first. It's too many. That's like a whole stack. Let's do one more. Okay. Alright. So let's see what your person has to say, right? Not a lot, obviously, because you don't want to hear it. I see a little part of you and everyone. Yeah. So they're trying to see who they can go out and try to recreate what they had with you, right? Because they lost out. I see other people in you. Wow. So I feel like this person really wants to find like your doppelganger. Like, no joke doppelganger that's all i heard just doppelganger that's so creepy i am struggling to let go of the 3d world so this person you know not as spiritual as you are that's why you know low vibrations you're in those low vibrations we both know i am not the one for you virgo that's up to you we have free will i can't figure you out <laughs> yeah 
you're a whole different person. You're like you're you're in you're standing in your energy. All right, Virgo, this has been your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down below, you know, if this resonates with you, right? I want to hear everybody's stories. I love to hear stories because it helps me realize I'm not alone in finding myself either. So uh, you are positive. Stay positive. Be positive. Okay? See you until next time.